Sue Lyon was a complete unknown 14-year-old when she got cast in the 1962 film Lolita. She was picked from over 800 wannabes that tried out for the part. The chance to portray a sexy nymphette in Stanley Kubrick's film, which was an adaptation of a controversial novel, was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. She was a five-foot-two, blue-eyed blonde, and she became an instant star and media sensation. She was frequently featured in movie magazines, and for years after, her every move was in the headlines. She was born in Davenport, Iowa in July of 1956. She was the youngest of five children. They actually called her Sue Ellen. Her father died when she was 10 months old, and tough times lay ahead. She was three when her mother, a practical nurse, moved the family to Los Angeles. She attended King's Junior High School, and at 13, she began to earn some small money doing catalog shoots and small TV parts. Director Stanley Kubrick said he first saw her on the Loretta Young Show, and his comment was that she had great natural ability, that she was a a one-in-a-million find. So Sue got called in for the Lolita auditions. After the initial audition, she was called back three more times for interviews, and then she had a a screen test. The movie was basically filmed in secrecy in London because of the racy adult nature of the storyline. An older, depraved man played by James Mason, he was the guardian lover of this luscious teenage temptress. The movie Lolita was well received. She followed that big hit with John Huston's film version of Tennessee Williams' play, the Night of the Iguana. She again played a teenage temptress, this time to Richard Burton as a defrocked priest. She went on at 19 to play a mission school teacher for the movie Seven Women, directed by John Ford. In an interview, she said that she really didn't want to act in movies for the rest of her life. She said she'd like to teach school and get married and have children. In July of 1971, she had already been married once and divorced. And at age 24, she married for the second time. Her husband was Roland B. Harrison. He was 33, and he was a black photographer she had met 14 months earlier. The marriage suffered because of the attitudes about mixed-race couples at the time. But the couple had a daughter before divorcing, 10 months after they wed. Then the crazy marriage happened. Movie fans were wondering what she was thinking when in November of 1973, she married Gary Cotton Adamson. He was a convicted murderer. She got actually married at the Colorado State Penitentiary. She and Adamson had gotten acquainted in 1972 through a mutual friend who was once jailed with Adamson in Los Angeles. The romance was kindled and fostered through letters and prison visits. Then in 1974, she files for divorce from Adamson. Now, the reason she gives for the divorce wasn't because he was in prison. She says that Hollywood wanted her to do that to save her film career. Her intention was to give up Hollywood. She and her three-year-old daughter were living in Denver, where she worked as a cocktail waitress at a nightclub. She found some work on television, but her movie career waned as the years slipped by. Her last film was Alligator in 1980. A fourth marriage came and went, and her last marriage to radio engineer Richard Rudman ended in divorce in 2002. She was very seldom seen in public. In 1998, after the 1997 Lolita remake, she stated that she was appalled that they would revive the film that caused her so much self-destruction. Now, during the filming of Night of the Iguana, the, the tabloids actually suggested that there were romances between her and Richard Burton and producer James Harris on the set. Now, she denied the rumors. You'll see her quite a bit on a lot of the TV series Uh, such as The Virginian and Night Gallery. 
She was also in the TV series Dennis the Menace. Sue was a beautiful young girl that made an impact on the film industry with Stanley Kubrick's Lolita. She got caught up in Hollywood and the fame that you see so many actresses and actors fall into. And her life was a struggle. Now, Sue had been in declining health for quite a while. She passed away at the age of 73. She's survived by her daughter, Nona. Thank you, Sue, for the fine work that you provided in your films and TV roles. We're going to miss you, and thank you guys for watching.